Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to the second part in Doki Doki Literature Club. If you're joining us from last time, you'll remember that we are the titular Mizan in the story, and we have all of these wonderful ladies to date, eventually, and apparently there's supposed to be something awful that happens at some point in time, which I'm still kind of waiting for, um, but it's kind of just been basic story dating sim kind of which feels a little creepy with me playing it but hey whatever right so we got these four girls Sayori, Yuri, Monica and the other one uh Natsuki right and I just told them that I never wanted to join this club Sayori might have convinced me to stop by but I never made any decision I still have uh, other clubs to look at and um and, uh I, I, uh, lose my train of thought. Choo-choo, there it goes. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Actually, Yuri looks like she's fine. Look at her. She's like, meh, I could take it or leave it. And also, I've given her a, uh, accent, we'll say. But, but, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I thought, <clears throat> that's what I thought, God. M Ms. Anne, why? Uh, you, you all, um, uh, I'm defenseless against these girls and their pouts and their little cheek crying, like the little tears that come out of their cheeks instead of their eyes. How am I supposed to ha make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Ugh, um, still feels a little creepy even saying that. Right. <clears throat> mm. Well, I've decided then, completely on my own with my man assertiveness. I'll join the literature club. You may all now shower me with your adulations. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. <gasps> I mean, it's all still like dolls, but... Uh... Yes, I'm so happy, Tilda! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. It's a little awkward, since I am seven feet tall and they are all fo four foot three. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Okay, everyone, I'm the alpha. <laughs> I'm the alpha woman, and what I say goes. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment that I assigned you. I will destroy you if you don't do it. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whomever likes your poem the most. Ooh, okay. Wow, I actually get a choice. All right, so I have, uh, looks like Sayori, the other one, and Yuri here. Where's Monica? That's odd. It, it feels like they were really stabbing at the fact that Monica is the uh, is the one that I should be going for since she's so smart and great and awesome and she's not even on here to impress so that's interesting <laughs> doki doki uh, okay well let's go ahead and go through this uh, sure doki doki first oh, oh oh and it looks like they jump if they're okay with it okay cool so I'm supposed to make them jump who's who's good with an okay Okay, good. So Yuri's kind of like the dark and mysterious one. Melancholy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Right there. Uh, Effulgent. <laughs> Why not? That's a good one. Yep. Okay, good. So it looks like I might be going for Yuri on this one. Just because, I don't know, the whole dark, mysterious thing is kind of my jam anyway, right? Anxiety. Great. Glad we're off to a great start. It's not like I'm picking things that really are what I feel like I am you know it's not writing to me that's not the point of poems right you don't write it because it's what you believe the world to be <laughs> uh, miss wait a minute why did why did Sayori jump with misfortune that seems anti Sayori and anti antis antis Sayori um intellectual okay Back on track to get on the Yuri train. Choo-choo. Let's go ahead with Thilly. Yeah, Theory. There you go. Thilly Theory. Analysis, Bliss, Heaven Sent. 
Massacre? Oh, <laughs> mm, okay, all right. Starting to get a feel for everyone right now. S scars, you want to know how I got these scars? Uh, go for a tone first, though. Um, yeah, this all seems a little random, but I, I kind of get the gist of what everyone kind of likes. It looks like Yuri's the Dark One. See, Yuri's kind of got a mixed bag <laughs> existence, yeah. And uh, it looks like Natsuki is kind of the <laughs> one, you know? Uh, misery. Huh. So Sayori likes misery. And misery loves company, which is why she likes me, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's just go through this. Great. And uh, horror is what I want, but let's go ahead and go with... Uh, sure, horror. Why not? That's that's what I really want. Hi again, Ms. Anne. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, nah, don't worry, and please never laugh like that again. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or whatever. I don't know what the hell you're even doing. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, haha. <laughs> oh, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know, Tilda. Wait, Seori, you're blowing my cover. Eh? Me? Um, well, not really. Oh, don't be shy, Tilda. It's really nothing. It really is nothing. What? What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when really it's not. It's just, uh, it's just the nuclear launch codes for Russia. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked up a book that I thought you might enjoy. Okay, good. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. It is it's war and peace, <laughs> and we could, you know, discuss it if, if you wanted to. If that is what you wanted to do, that'd be great. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Most definitely. I'm going to put it in this book reading receptacle I have to the left of us. It looks like a trash can, but don't worry, it is my book reading receptacle. <laughs> See? B-R-R, -R, right, right here. Don't don't take it out. Don't take it out of here. Just just leave it in there. And if you have, hey, if you have any other books, you can put them in there as well. I enthusiastically take the book. I'll definitely start reading it soon. It's very soon. It's, uh, hey, hey, you know what? As soon as you leave, that book's going to be gone, so don't worry. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you may, may, maybe not have a hard time putting it down. You know what I mean? It's going to be great. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Ah, uh, is that so? <laughs> What's it about, anyway? I'm really afraid to ask this. Will? In... Hmm... How do I put things so that you will understand? Um, it's kind of like, you know, Cthulhuoid creatures come down from the, the cosmos and they eat the brains of everybody who come. Yes? Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yes! The book is titled Portrait of Markov. And it's in a strange, strange language. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, we were and all that, you know? She gets targeted by these people who escape from human experiment prison. So this does play, take place in Soviet Russia. And while her life is in danger, she desperately needs to choose who to trust. And she chooses poorly. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. Moral of story is do not trust anybody. Only trust self and use other people to whatever advantage you can get. 
Uh, that's kind of, uh, line. Cat's kind of dark, isn't it? it? It is a little dark, but not dark enough for what I thought this game was supposed to be. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yuri giggles gently all of a sudden. <laughs> She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different, dipped in onyx black darkness. I mean, that sounds cool. It's definitely what I'm looking for. Uh... It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective, which I like, you know. I'm a big fan of it. Oh, good. Thank you, Mr. Narwhal. I'm glad to see that you're playing Oxygen Not Included. I really hope that doesn't get into the recording. <laughs> uh, they challenge you to look at life. That's what they do. When horrible things happen just, uh, just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they can believe in. Yeah, I, I'm all about that. That's great stuff. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be naive, one, for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Is this lampshading? Is that what this is? I feel like this, I'm a lampshade right now. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Yes, you are. Not again. Oh, stupid Yuri. Stupid, stupid Yuri. Why, Yuri? Why you do this to myself? I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. It's fine. I've just been staring out into the abyss. I haven't lost interest or anything, Ms. N lied to Yuri. Well, um, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. I randomly kill passers-by. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I get anxious. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Like you, the, p the protagonist of this game. I. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange like, And please stop me if I start talking too much, alright? It's easy, just say I'll stop. That just means you're passionate about reading. <laughs> Passion, that's what it is. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all, and all you do is listen in literature clubs. That's right, right? I've never been to one. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In, in fact, sorry, you know when you talk to someone and you start picking up their own accent? I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> I open the book and start the prologue. I kind of want this to just be reading the book. As soon as I understand what Yuri means about reading in company, it's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, oh, no. Here, this should work, right? I smash the book to the ground and put it on fire. I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's, then hold my book more in between the both of us. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Scandalous! It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. <laughs> don't, don't worry, I got it. I got it, don't worry. Wait, here, I'll, I'll do it for you. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Like in the picture. Wow, I actually changed the picture for once. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. 
But in holding it, I, don't, I have no idea why I'm laughing. We're held even closer together than before. I think it's just because I, I did not expect this at all. Where's everyone? Wait a minute. Did everyone move to the back of the room? W w weren't people in the corner? Why is the room suddenly empty? It's actually kind of distracting me. Yes, it is kind of distracting me. Where is everyone? This is... Is it is as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. Fuck. <laughs> Are you ready? The eh. to turn. The oh shoot! I'm just messing this up to, to hell. To turn the page. Are you ready to turn the page? You that that's one creepy eye you got there. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I really did. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how. I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? Uh, I really don't know what you're talking about. I don't mind being patient if it takes you longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is this the English alphabet we're reading? Thanks. We continue reading. <laughs> I still have no idea what I'm reading or what's going on in the classroom. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Yeah, this is intriguing stuff. Just a second. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good, uh, good old tea having fun right there you know it's been about 30 minutes so i think i'm gonna stop it here for right now um yeah really interesting stuff going on everywhere just just action and and scares every every mile of the way if you like this guys please like share and subscribe and as always this is the misanthropic lord signing off have a good one guys <laughs>